From tons of collabs being revealed, the stuff we'll see in the new chapter, here's why Fortnite will never be the same again. Epic loves to tease collabs in plain sight. In fact, something as innocent as a pizza restaurant has a lot more to it than you might think. In the files, leakers have discovered an encrypted set with four outfits, and the code name is Fungus Ninja. Then you start to connect this with the arcade machine in the pizza pit, and the leaked Paramount deal from last year, where Fortnite got the rights to, you guessed it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This collab already happened to Fall Guys, who was owned by Epic Games, which has me convinced that this is going to release soon. If that wasn't enough evidence, Epic is involving the pizza party item in just a couple weeks, and they have given it a complete overhaul. When it returns, it'll no longer heal HP, which is an interesting decision, but it'll give way more shields. Another item you could expect in the near future was spotted in the Season 4 trailer. You can watch Mei throw something into the security room, which deactivates all the lasers. This gadget is the Shield Breaker EMP Grenade, and it's one of those items that always gets teased by Fortnite, but doesn't release until later in the season. Luckily, you can expect the EMP Grenade to drop as soon as next week. There are quests to drop on September 5th, and they mention using the item, so time to get excited. Speaking of time, at the very start of the trailer, we watched as Kato Thorn return from 2020 and stole Oro's skull. I was kind of disappointed to see this, and then go in game only to find nothing like it on the map. No skull and especially no time machine. But then you realize there's a door here that leads to nowhere. There are even stairs and particle effects behind it. We had a theory that the time machine would eventually appear in this area, and thanks to the leaks, it has now been confirmed. In the files, there's a device called Tiny Mango. It is currently unfinished, but we do have a battery. Over the next couple of updates, we'll see the time machine slowly appear on the map, and it'll be a big part of the quest line this season. By the time it drops, we'll probably have katanas back in the game. If you paid attention to the very start of the trailer, you can spot Kato Thorn's special blade on his back. This is a kinetic blade, sure, but it has a new design that is exclusive to him. It'll probably be a mythic item that'll appear during Four Nightmares as a reward for defeating the boss. And it's not the only fan favorite return. My Hero Academia is coming back in Season 4 with a brand new character. An insider posted about Ahsoka and Kathy LeMay over a month ago, and now they have revealed that Todoroki from My Hero will be joining them at some point in the future. Beyond that, we have a huge LTM in the works that's gonna be even bigger than Imposters. Chapter 5 Season 1 is giving us a brand new mode that is apparently open world. In the files, it mentioned this having three acts, a vendor NPCs, and a pre bus lobby. Originally, we thought this was a live event, but with Season 4's latest round of leaks, it is clearly much bigger than that. Judging from the files, it looks like this could be an extraction mode like DMZ or Escape from Tarkov. They are on the rise as the next biggest genre, and Fortnite is show they love hopping on trends. If we get first person in Chapter 5, this extraction LTM might be the most intense game mode out there. Heading back to Battle Royale, a key character is finally returning to the story after a whole year of being missing. Recently, Sloan came back and called an old friend we both trusted. Immediately, everyone had one suspect, Agent Jones. He's been AWOL since the Fracture event, despite being right here at the loading screen. Luckily, Jones is finally making his comeback with his NPC scheduled to return soon. Not the only classic thing to appear in the files. The Getaway LTM is also being exalted, fitting perfectly with the heist theme. And I guess this explains where iCard went. For the past couple of months, all we've heard about is four nightmares. I mean, Epic has been working on this thing for so long that it has to be special. And the closer we get, the more we learn about how insane it'll be. You can expect all of these items to return, especially the Witch Broom, which is now blood red, while the Pumpkin Launcher has green smoke and new sounds. Horde Rush is going to be one of the main features of the Halloween event, giving us the Kinetic Blade, Railgun, and Tactical Pistol. Reality Augments are getting activated, and we'll even get the return of the Goo Gun and Chrome Weapons. And a big thank you to Marvel Snap for sponsoring this video, which just fully released on Steam with widescreen support. If you haven't played in a while or are new, Marvel Snap won the Mobile Game of the Year at the Game Awards in December. It's a collectible card game that's over fast games, deep strategy, deck building, and amazing art. To keep things fresh, one new card is added to the game every week to keep your strategy ever changing. There are now over 220 cards, 115 locations, and 1300 card art variants that have been created by renowned comic artists. A really cool card to build around is Sarah. She reduced the cost of all your cards in hand by one, so it's a lot of fun to set your board up, play Sarah on turn five, and then slam the board with as many cards as you can to win on turn six. To celebrate the Steam launch, Marvel Snap has limited time login bonuses available, as well as Twitch drops that are live between August 22nd and August 29th. Use my link in the description to download and play Marvel Snap on Steam to unlock the exclusive Mech Devil Dinosaur variant. But now, back to the video. 
just a couple days after Four Nightmares ends, so will the season. Surprisingly, Last Resort is only sticking around until November 3rd, making this one of the shortest seasons of all time at just 70 days long. Because of this, we have also learned that we won't be getting a live event until Chapter 5 begins. Usually it'd be at the end of the season, but there's something happening just before the Lego collab. This is gonna be so massive that it even has its own build number. It's the first time in Fortnite history where a .00 update isn't for a new season. Fortnite and Lego have been working on something for months, ever since they announced the partnership in April 2022. It said they were teaming up to build a place for kids in the metaverse, and clearly Fortnite has a big role to play. We don't know exactly what it'll be, but in June they revealed some Lego props made in Unreal Engine and claimed we will be getting Lego characters as cosmetics. We also know about a weapon called the Rope and Chain Grenade Launcher, which fires Lego pieces, and a unique mode with something called Adventures. So maybe it's a Lego RPG or survival mode? I don't worry, it doesn't mean we're not getting a live event. Epic has been secretly working behind the scenes on an event called Durian. It'll have six phases, cinematics, and is scheduled for December 2nd. During the event, we'll be able to use grind rails, which could hint at something taking place in Mega City. But there's one thing we know for sure, this is definitely the Chapter 4 finale. Speaking of grind rails, this won't be the last we see of them, because according to leakers, they are sticking around in Chapter 5. But what's really sticking is the upcoming grenade launcher. You might have spotted this in the Season 4 gameplay trailer, and it's exactly what the name suggests. Honestly, considering the fact we've had clingers and a grenade launcher for years now, I'm surprised it took this long to combine them and give us sticky explosives. It's also surprising we don't have car customization yet, but that could change very soon. Thanks to the rumored racing mode for Chapter 5, Fortnite is working on a system that lets us change the body and wheels of our cars. Not only would this be accessible in the race, but it could apply to Battle Royale as well. It also turns out Epic has been secretly leaking four nightmares as we speak. If you talk to Love Ranger at Rumble Ruins, he has some very interesting dialogue. Make sure you're wearing the fish stick outfit, and then you'll mention a murky swamp and something within. This lines up perfectly with a terrifying swamp fish outfit from the surveys. And once you talk to this guy at Stoneheart, he'll mention being wreathed in flame, and that points to yet another unreleased skin. It looks like these two will be a part of Four Nightmares in October. A month earlier in September, we're getting the next crew pack, and it looks incredible. Currently, Lexa and Orin are the headliners, but in the loading screen, you can see them fighting an unknown figure. Very quickly, people notice this lined up with an equally mysterious character from the survey, and they were right. The crew pack skin has been discovered in the file, and it looks exactly like the concept art. Now we just gotta figure out who this is and how they are important to the storyline. Until then, let's focus on new reality augments that are dropping any day now. There's a perk named Turret EMP Armory, which gives you a business turret and two shield breaker grenades. The reason why this is disabled is kinda obvious. They are waiting to drop the EMP item. Then there's another perk called Storm Survivor, whatever that means, as well as Explosive Mag Increase, which just sounds OP. The shield breaker isn't the only throwable item coming. You should expect the Storm Flip to make an appearance in a few weeks. I know it sounds super random, but we haven't used this in over 1400 days. So I'm excited to give it another chance. If that doesn't make you feel old already, just wait until you find out that Battle Royale has been around for six years now, and they're about to celebrate their birthday once again. Feels like the fifth anniversary just happened, but the new presents, balloons, and cake are already in the files, ready to celebrate. Fans of the High Stakes Club will be happy to hear that the set is finally complete, thanks to an upcoming skin in Season 4. Say hello to Countess Duraku, who has been teased for the entire entire chapter. She's even an NPC on the map right now, and if you talk to her as any of the High Stakes members, you'll get special dialogue. A quality of life change that everyone has been waiting for, though, is a brand new UI design. Gotta admit, having to scroll through all these maps just to find Battle Royale, it's insane. But luckily, Epic is working on a new dashboard for Chapter 5. As you can see, it looks more simplistic, but also very early in development. I wouldn't expect this to be the final product, just testing, so I can't wait to see what they come up with. Now, lately, we don't get many skin leaks after an update, it's usually three or four, but with the new season, tons of outfits have been revealed. They all seem vampire or Halloween related, with Birch who looks straight out of Diablo or something, and Drozera, I can't tell if she's a human or a robot. Soon you also get your hands on Paxton Price, who is exclusive to an upcoming bundle called Honor's Emissary. Leakers have even noticed files for a skin called Moon Goddess, which could be this person in the surveys. Apparently, they've been working on this outfit since 2020. What? By the way, pay attention to May's loading screen. Not only is the artwork amazing, but if you look at this screen on her desk, you'll see a random dude that isn't in Fortnite. At least not yet. Of course, peek at the surveys, and there he is in his full glory. Expect this guy to release later in the season. If you somehow still haven't played Save the World, you can grab it for dirt cheap in the next starter pack. And yeah, okay, this guy looks like K2SO in the fashion sense, and that's why people love this thing. 
It can drop any day now, and if you pick it up, make sure to use code T5G to support us. Those were a ton of leaks in Fortnite Season 4. It's from Tommy, and make sure to keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.